When the tide turned in South Africa 19 years ago, some called it a miracle. While there were miraculous moments in South Africa's history, its political transition was not a miracle. Hundreds of thousands of people sacrificed and organized, and many gave their lives in the struggle that culminated in the release of Nelson Mandela and the country's first democratic elections in 1994. South Africa's transformation stands as a defining event of the 20th century. But even 19 years after democracy, there is still much more work to be done. South Africa continues to face significant challenges as it works to overcome apartheid's legacy. Since 1994, 2.4 million houses have been built, but too many people still live in substandard housing. Last year, South Africa's primary care clinics recorded more than 100 million patient visits. But human resource shortages, which reach 30% in some areas of the country, threaten to undermine gains. While test scores have risen in many South African schools, 80% of state-run schools lack libraries and classroom resources are still scarce. And while there has been enormous progress in the fight against the AIDS pandemic, with more than 700,000 South Africans receiving medication, the rates of infection are still climbing and too many lives are being lost. We are really proud of the strides that the people living with HIV and AIDS have made in this province. We have come a long, long way. And I think at this point, I'd like to give you a huge round of applause. South Africa has already demonstrated that there's every reason for hope. The same people who fought against apartheid and continue to engage in the democratic process as this young democracy evolves remain committed. And when freedom came to South Africa, uh, it was obvious that this was going to be a great time, but it was also going to be a hard time, and that there was a lot of work that needed to be done. And that those of us here who had been involved in the anti-apartheid struggle could still be involved and still had some, um, something to offer. I think it's Dr. King who said that uh, injustice anywhere is uh, a problem for all of us everywhere. And South Africa provides an opportunity for us to, to see both um, a history of oppression, but also a history of social justice in action. And South Africa Partners links us all with, uh, with that history, but also with the progress from that history to transformation. And uh, I think it, it's one of the significant roles that South Africa Partners plays. It allows uh, those of us who live in this country in particular to have opportunities to, uh, to witness uh, possibility for transformation for, for that country, uh, for South Africa, and for the world. Since it opened its doors in 1998, South Africa Partners has worked to build partnerships between the United States and South Africa. Growing out of the anti-apartheid movement, South Africa Partners began by tapping the storehouses of knowledge and technology in Massachusetts and across the United States, and building partnerships to share those resources with the people of South Africa. Those partnerships include adapting a model that helps people living with HIV AIDS and healthcare providers to work together to improve the health of the community. Reversing apartheid's legacy by providing books and school libraries in isolated areas. Helping to strengthen institutions by forming partnerships that transfer skills and provide technical assistance. Creating lasting partnerships requires more than just matching similar interest groups. South Africa Partners creates partnerships through shared values, missions, and leadership styles. 
And when those elements are present, both organizations reap rewards. Part of what's unique about this relationship um, and about the role that South Africa Partners plays is that this is not simply another version of bilateral aid. This is really connections between people, uh, including people in government, uh, connections that are built on trust and relationships and frankly often on a lot of volunteerism and contribution. South African Partners was and is for me a primary source of perspective, knowledge, and understanding about a part of the world that is, as we talked earlier, central. For any individual who is interested in what's happening in Africa, South Africa is, in my opinion, a, a nexus, it's a centering point. And as an organization, South African Partners brings it all together. It brings together the people, uh, the insight, the news, um, in, a, in a really personal way. And, and I think it's a point of contact for individuals, for families, for organizations to really forge an understanding of a critically important part of the world. South Africa's greatest resource is its people. But until 19 years ago, those riches were squandered. But with the gains of the new South Africa, we can begin to witness the country's wealth finally being realized. South Africa's diamonds. South Africa's gold.